Hi, I'm Will, Course Specialist here at Career Foundry. Today I'm going to run through seven of the most essential front-end development tools and show you why they're so important. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which tools you need in order to get started in front-end development. Web technologies are constantly evolving and fast. Web development tools are no different. If it's not a brand new tool popping up, it's a new version and staying up to date can be tricky. If you're new to web development, you might be wondering, what do I need in my front end toolkit? Indeed, the right tools will save you time, improve your workflow and take your development capabilities to new heights. But with so many different tools to choose from, it can get pretty overwhelming. So where do you start? Let's take a look at your front end essentials. I'll introduce each tool, explaining what it's used for and why it's so valuable. So let's get started. One, code editor. First and foremost, every front-end developer needs a tip-top code editor. This is where you'll create and edit source code. Now, there are loads of different code editors to choose from. Some of the most popular include Atom, Sublime Text, Notepad++, and Vim. So what's important when choosing a code editor? Above all, look for a well-designed, efficient, ultra-speedy interface. There are several tools that do this well, but arguably the best and most popular is Sublime Text. The secret to Sublime's success lies in the vast array of keyboard shortcuts, enabling you to perform simultaneous editing, that is, making the same interactive changes to multiple selected areas at once, as well as quick navigation to files, symbols and lines. When you're spending eight or more hours with your editor each day, these shortcuts really do add up. Next up, Chrome Developer Tools. An absolute must for your front-end toolkit. Chrome Developer Tools are a set of debugging tools built into Chrome. They let you edit your HTML and CSS in real time and debug your JavaScript, all while viewing a thorough performance analysis of your website. It's pretty good. Chrome Developer Tools are available in both Chrome and Safari, and they basically give you access to the internals of your web application. You can use the device mode to test how responsive the website will be as you're building it. The Sources panel can be used to debug your JavaScript, while the timeline identifies any runtime performance issues. Google release regular updates, so check their website and tune into the Google Developers YouTube channel to stay up to date. 3. jQuery JavaScript has long been considered an essential front-end language, but it's not without its problems. Riddled with browser inconsistencies, its somewhat complicated and approachable syntax meant that functionality often suffered. Thankfully, this all changed in 2006. Meet jQuery, a cross-platform JavaScript library that was created to simplify the front-end process. jQuery takes common tasks that require several lines of JavaScript code and condenses them into methods that you can call up with just a single line of code. You can think of jQuery as a way to streamline your work with JavaScript. Now, despite its age, jQuery is very much alive and well. It's still a highly relevant front-end tool with around 300,000 downloads each day. In fact, about 90% of the top 500,000 websites still use jQuery, so this is definitely worth including in your toolbox. Four, Git and GitHub. Another absolute staple is Git, a version control system where you can store and manage your code. As a web developer, you'll make constant changes to your code, and the beauty of Git is that you can easily track these changes and reverse them if necessary. Git also makes it easy to work together with other teams and manage multiple projects at once. Then there's GitHub, a cloud interface for Git. It's been around since 2008 and now has over 28 million users worldwide, making it the largest host of source code in the world. GitHub offers all the version control functionality of Git, but also offers its own handy features such as bug tracking, task management, and project wikis. Git and GitHub will make your life much, much easier so be sure to get to grips with these from days one. Five, front-end frameworks. Once you start building front-end applications regularly, you'll start to notice the same patterns emerging. Front-end frameworks, also known as CSS frameworks, can significantly cut down the amount of code and time needed to build your project. Front-end frameworks contain pre-written code organized in files and folders. Instead of writing the same lines of code over and over from scratch, you can just pick out ready-made elements from the framework. Some of the most popular front-end frameworks today include Bootstrap, Foundation, Skeleton, and UIKit. The most widely used is probably Bootstrap, a comprehensive UI package which was developed by the team at Twitter. 
Bootstrap comes complete with HTML and CSS-based design templates for typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigation, modals, and more. Six, React. Another useful front-end tool that's become increasingly popular in recent years is React. React is a JavaScript library used for building interactive user interfaces. It's a component-based library, which means that every element is a separate component. You can think of each component as a building block. When integrated together, all these building blocks make up your entire web application. The biggest advantage of using components is that you can change any component at any given time without affecting the rest of the application. This is most useful when creating larger applications where data changes frequently, such as a dashboard. Whenever any data is added or updated, React automatically updates only the specific component whose state has actually changed. There's no need for the browser to reload the whole application. Now, React can be tricky to pick up at first. Expect a steep learning curve. However, once you've got the hang of it, it'll save you loads of time. What's more, it also follows dry principles and encourages you to break things out into smaller, more usable components. Seven, CSS preprocessor. To complete your front-end toolkit, you'll need a CSS preprocessor. Now, let's rewind a bit. One of the first things you'll learn about code is that it needs to be dry, which stands for don't repeat yourself. You may have realized that CSS is not very dry, and this is where your CSS preprocessor comes in. This is a time-saving tool that will help you write maintainable, future-proof code, all while reducing the amount of CSS you have to write. So, keeping it dry. One of the most common tools is SAS, an open source project which pretty much sets the tone for modern CSS preprocessors. Although a little bit tricky to get to grips with initially, SAS's combination of variables, nesting, and mixins will render simple CSS when compiled, meaning your style sheets will be more readable and, importantly, dry. In a nutshell, a CSS preprocessor makes writing CSS easier and less repetitive. So there you have it seven essential tools for front-end development. I hope this list has been useful. For more insights, head on over to the Career Foundry blog, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.